Hello everyone, I'm Elkizadek and I'm Neville and together we want to talk about a project that we are really passionate about. The project is called CASA and CASA is an abbreviation for Kibera Aeronautics and Space Academy. Neville, we've been volunteering for the project for some time now. Yeah. Uh, do you mind sharing with the audience more about the project? No, I don't mind. CASA is an offshoot project of Tunapanda Institute a social enterprise that runs three-month training courses in informal settlements across East Africa. CASA's aim is to train young people in space exploration and to equip them with skills that they can apply in their daily lives. Yeah, and to achieve that, we have chosen nine courses that will introduce the learners to the skills, mindsets and technologies that will help them understand this, uh, the uh, landscape of space exploration and relate space exploration to some of the challenges that we are facing here on Earth. Nevid, uh, one of the things that you've been uh, working on for CASA is develop developing uh, content on uh, communications and satellites. Yeah, communications and satellites. Uh, do you want to share with the audience your experience about developing the, uh, the course and delivering a class on that? Yeah. I've had a really nice and enjoyable time developing the content on communications and satellites and also delivering the course to a class of very curious learners who are really engaged and interested in learning more about how communication systems on earth work and how human beings might possibly communicate on a colony such as Mars. Uh, and did you uh, face any challenge delivering the class? The main challenge I faced was I, had, I would have wished to have a way to have a practical means to show, say, satellites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that one reminds me, I've done four uh, lessons mm -hmm. on energy sources of the future. Yeah. And one of the things that I wished I had in the class was uh, solar panels. Mm -hmm. So when doing a session, I realized that most of the students wanted to know how solar panels convert sunlight into electricity. And just showing, the, sh showing that practical in a class will, uh, spark, will help spark students' interest uh, in this, uh, the field of space exploration and yeah. energy sources of the future. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I would also like to see, like, uh, see equipment being added to the class, and that's uh, yeah. one of Certainly. the challenges that we are facing right now. Certainly. So, do you want to say something about the challenges or how we can meet? Yeah, sure. So, at the moment, CASA is being run by a group of volunteers. We are very enthusiastic, but you're facing challenges with finances. Our hope is that we can gain more funds to enable us to drive the mission of CASA forward. So if you are someone who believes that anyone from any corner of the, of the universe uh, should be given an equal opportunity to dream and actually realize their dreams, you can support CASA to help us make an impact to the community and help young people to dream and achieve their dreams. We would really appreciate if you connect to this campaign and let's continue to make an impact in the universe. Sure. So, Bye. Bye.